Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Grinders deck from Randy Butterfield and Midnight Cards. Uh, who is Randy Butterfield? Uh, if you don't know, he is a prolific deck designer. Uh, we've done tons of deck reviews for him in the past, and he is out in Indianapolis. And these cards were printed from the Legends Playing Card Company. All right, so grinders, what is a grinder? Um, a grinder is simply a card player uh, who typically plays low risk games. I know they made the movie Grinders, and I know he made a ton of money, but typically they achieve uh, small but frequent wins. The term is also often used to describe people who play poker uh, to make a living people who are brave enough to adventure out into the quote-unquote daily grind. So grinding is the opposite of the high-risk, high-reward betting, uh, and so your grinder is typically your, your career gambler. This deck set was released on Kickstarter, and it did come in a blue and copper deck. The grinder's copper and blue decks are intricate in detail, and they're elegant in exception. Quality playing cards are perfect for gaming, collecting, cardistry, and magic. It's the, get them both. Then you have the perfect poker pair. The blue deck has silver foil and blue foil. The copper deck has silver foil and copper foil. The tuck case is printed on a premium black matte stock, and the cards are printed, like I said, with Legends' excellent classic finish. I didn't open my copper deck, I only opened the blue one, so uh, that's the one we'll take a look at today. The front of the tuck case is uh, beautiful, it has all that uh, foil going on. It says premium playing cards across the top, grinders, and then printed in Indianapolis there across the bottom. One side says printed by Legends Playing Card Company, the other side says that they're designed by Randy Butterfield, the bottom has an ad copy about both, and the top says don't give anything away. The tuck flap has the LS Lawrence Sullivan seal, which is a nod to Legends Playing Card Company. And the back, of course, is the back design of the cards. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said earlier, these cards are printed from the Legends Playing Card Company, and they are done on their classic finish. The back design is really cool. I think it's very intricate in detail, but yet simple. You know, it has a classic look, but yet new and original. Uh, you got a really thin custom poker border there on the edges, and then you have that nice big field of blue that has kind of a softly drawn circles there in the background that kind of mirror that circle made out of cable there in the center. And then you have that really uh, classic looking frame going around the edges. I mean, it, I mean, it really looks like a picture frame uh, with that ornamentation there in the corner. With this deck, you're gonna get two custom jokers, um, both different colors, one gray, one red. And of course, it depicts the grinder as he is playing poker. And one card is just him with the cards in front of him, and the other card is a card reveal. Your grinder ace of spades looks like the other aces as well, except for the fact that it does say grinders there in the center, and across the bottom, it says that they were designed by Midnight Playing Cards. The court cards for the grinder's deck do derive from a more classical design. However, you can see that they are enlarged and they do still carry a modern feel. All the color has been stripped away and uh, they only carry the colors that are represented in this deck. The pip and indice cards are gonna be familiar for the most part. I think the colors are very bold. You also see a little hint of that same circle that's on the back design of the cards as a watermark placed in the center of each card. All right, so that is my review for the Grinders deck from Randy Butterfield and Midnight Cards. I want to thank Randy for providing this deck for me so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase these or any of his great decks, you can visit him at MidnightCards.com. Thanks. Bye.